Hello guys, so today I will show you how to use IMC to manage some wireless features directly in the IMC user interface. So to do this, we will use the WSM module, so Wireless Service Manager module. And so I will show you how we can do this and what we can expect from this. So let's go to this live demonstration. So first of all, I need to open my IMC server. So here it is. So here I am connected to my IMC server. First thing to do is to discover our wireless controllers. So I already have some controller, but I will add a new one just to do just to show you how easy it is. So you can use auto discovery of course or import your CSV file, okay. But I will add manually the device using its IP address. So let me put my IP address here. Okay. And then uh, you choose how you will connect to this controller, principally to make some backup of configuration or these kind of things. And then you enter the credential. So SNMP first. So um, if I remember correctly, I think this is this. And then I will connect through SSH. So I need to configure the SSH. So here it is. OK. Then you can click on OK. And this will discover automatically the controller. So we have to wait some seconds. Hopefully, I put the correct SNMP credential. OK, so apparently, the credential was correct. So we wait a little bit in order to synchronize. And then you can click on device details to check if it was discovered correctly. OK, so presently, it is not yet uh, synchronized. But SNMP credential seems to be correct since we have some information. Let me click on refresh. OK, so now the wireless controller was discovered and synchronized. To be sure that it was successfully added to the WSM part, you can see here an additional tab called Wireless Service Information. And if you click on it, you can see some information, so number of access points, number of maximum access points, online access points, and so on, online clients also. OK, so my controller was correctly discovered. And this is, by the way, this is an Aruba controller. And so you can see that we can discover in IMC. Just a short parenthesis concerning the, um, some specification when you add some wireless controller in IMC. So as you see here, when I add an Aruba controller, I just need SNMP credential and also SSH or Telnet if I want to back up the configuration, for example. And for unified HP controller, just let me show you. I have some here. So let me show my wireless device. OK, you can see four here. So for HP unified, if I select, for example, my HP 830, what you need is, of course, SLMP credential, but also you need SSH or the net credential in order to get all the information from the controller. So if I check here, you can see I have SNMP, OK. And also, I have SSH configured on my controller. OK, and for MSM controller, there is something else you need to put in your uh, the, um, configuration, in the configuration for the access to the device. If I go to my team of MSM 765, you can see, so of course, SNMP credential, OK. Also, I have SSH credential in order to back up and restore the configuration. Ah, no password, bad. And also, something very, very important, you need to configure SOAP in order to have access to the device. So here, for example, you can put your credential like this. And the last point is you need also to make some configuration on the MSM controller itself. So if I go to the web management of this controller, OK, I connect. 
And so on the controller configuration, you need to define something to manage the controller through IMC. So in authenti in management, sorry, in management, so you need to define the same credential for SOAP as you put in IMC. Okay, so here user admin and password uh, I don't share with you. You need also to authorize the IP address of your IMC server here. Okay, so let me add mine. Okay, sorry. Okay, and last thing to do is to change the IP address of the manage management console to the one you are using. So in my case, this one. You click on save and now you can manage fully the controller through IMC. Okay, so now let's, let's see what we can do with this on IMC. So, I will go to the wireless service management part in service menu here, okay. So, if I click on overview, I will have a specific dashboard for wireless. So, you can see the number of controllers, the number of clients, the type of clients, how many clients today, the uh, bandwidth usage, and all these kind of things from the specific wireless dashboard. Then, if I go to my resource management already, I will see some information on my controller access point and also clients. So if I click on the access controller list, I can see all the controllers I di discovered on my network. So you can see I have one Aruba controller, one HP MSM, and some unified controller. And you can see corresponding access point, so total online, and also the number of clients connected using this controller. So, for example, if I select my Aruba controller, I can see all the access points which are connected to this controller. So, here you can see I have three access points. So, sorry, the naming is in French. It is my home, home lab. So, <laughs> since I'm French, the name is French. So, you can see I have three access points, one 215, 205, and one 205H. And for each access point, I can see also some information concerning the total number of clients and also I can see more information on uh, the history info information uh, and so on. And so then if I click on, for example, the number of clients on my first access point, I will see the list of the corresponding clients connected to this access point. So here you can see two users, me, who are con connected in SSID family with some information on, on, total, on uh, traffic, uh, rate of um, receiving rate, and so on. And also you can display some graph, for example, using this, you can see some information on the signal for this user. Okay, updated in live. Okay, so already you can see you can monitor some information in WSM for the controller you added on your system. Also, you can make some management. So depending on the type, you can manage more or less features on the controller. For example, an Aruba controller, you can add a new SSID. So if I go back to my list of controller, okay. And if I select my first controller here, you can see a menu, WLAN configuration. And so from here, you can add or modify or remove some SSID using some specific security information. And just to give you another example, if I select a HP Unified controller, you can see that I can manage many, many things. So, for example, this one, this WLC. Okay, you can see some information, wireless logical interface configuration. I can also manage mesh, mesh profile and so on. So, let me select wireless logical interface. So, you can see all the ESS I have on my system. I can modify, I can add a new one. And after I can modify the security, so I can really manage the full configuration of SSID and the wireless information on Unified. Okay, so now let's show you what we can see on, for example, a topology to make some RF management. If I click on RF management, you will see some guidelines on how you need to configure to be able to monitor correctly your location view. 
So first thing to do is to add a location view. You can see step one, create a location view. Okay. Let me click on location view. So I will create a location view for my home lab with my Aruba controller. So let me add a new location view. I will say this is home fab. Okay. And this is, uh, let's say, a building. Okay. Let, yeah, I will let this by default. Okay. And once it is created, I will be able to add some access point in my location view. So if I click on add, I will see all the access point. And so I will add yeah, the first three one which are in my home here. OK. And I click on OK. So now my new location view is created and I have some access point in my location view. So the following step, if we go back to RF management, is to, is to open the topology corresponding to this location view and to add some background to this location view. So let me open my topologies. Then I go to wireless location view. So by the way, you can see my new home fab location view. And let me open this. So when I open, I can see the three access points in my location view. So I will upload a background. So I think there is already, so you can upload from your file system on your laptop, for example, but I think I already uploaded to the server so I can select directly from the gallery. And by the way, a new feature, you can upload directly CAD file. Okay, yeah, so here it is. So I will use this background. Okay, so now my background is here. So I will put my access point where they are really. So this one is, uh, if I remember well, here. This one is over there. And this one finally is approximately here. So let me save. Okay. So already you can display who is connected on which access point. If you right click, you can see a menu. And so I can select, for example, show clients. So already I can see that I am connected on this access point and my wife is connected on this one. So already you can display some information. And if you want to view some RF management things on the topology, the following set step, if I go back to this, following step is to put a scale on the location view. Okay. So here I will put a scale. So I need to click on this icon. Then I select. So I click and I keep clicked in order to select a distance. Okay. And here this is approximately seven meters or eight, eight, I think. So I put eight here. Now my scale is defined. And so already you can display more information. For example, you can see this menu show signal coverage. And so, for example, I can display the signal for 2.4 gigahertz. So based on the radio strength on each access point, this will display the theoretical coverage. But right now, I didn't put any wall, any window, anything on my background. So this is really approximative. So if you want something more accurate, so I will hide. So the next step, if you need, if you want something more accurate, is let me show you to add some obstacle. So let's do it. So I will put some wall, some uh, perhaps window, and let me select a brick wall. Yeah, for example. Okay. So I will select this, then this. But by the way, this should be more interesting if I put um, not only a uh, line, but polyline. This will be easier to do. So this, this, and this. Double click to finish. 
Okay, so here I put some wall. I will put also some drywall. So I know that, for example, there is a drywall here. Yeah, I didn't put any window, but it is just for the example. So I will put a wall, a drywall here. Okay, so now to exit the edit mode, edit this icon. And now I can save here. Okay, so now it is saved, and so if I try to display again the typical sign of coverage, the same, you will see that my signal is attenuated depending on the wall. So here it is more accurate, but again it is theoretical coverage based on signal strength on the radio and added attenuation of the wall, the window, and so on. And again, you can display if you want who is connected and which, which access point. So here. And also, you can display an approximative real time location using the locate menu here. So if I select my wife, for example, I can see she is around uh, this part. Ah, and she moved, by the way. Okay, something else also interesting, which is new in the latest release of IMC and WSM. Directly from the list of your client, if I go on this server, because I need to have NTA and SFlow activated, if you go to the list of your client, you can show using this menu, some traffic analysis for the station. So this is based on a network traffic analysis module and S-Flow activated on the controller. So if, I, if I click here, I will see the application speed and top application. So here mainly I have some NetBIOS, so not many things, but you can see this. Okay, also new in IMC and WSM 7.2, there is now an integration between IMC and Airwave. So, uh, so you can, if you need more information on the wireless, more analysis, diagnosis, and so on, you can open directly from IMC your Airwave server using this menu. And so, so with single thing on, I open my Airwave server and I can, for example, view information on the connected clients. If I want to make some diagnosis on this one, I can click here and so I can see the beautiful chain for diagnosis on the controller and some information. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today. So as you can see, we can monitor and manage basic features of wireless directly in IMC using WSM. So I hope to see you soon on another demonstration. Bye-bye.